Okay, this stupid room again. <laughs> I think the problem was that I was throwing stuff at that window and not at this one because we, we thought about this because there's a ledge there and there's a ledge there, so let's... Let's break shit. Well, yeah, I, I don't know why I wasn't throwing something at that window. I guess I figured it wouldn't work. <sighs> Maybe that... What? Are you serious? I gotta get Maybe on the... Maybe the other one. I gotta get it on the ledge somehow. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. You remember that cracked window? Cracked window? Yeah, there was a cracked window in a hallway yeah. a while back that you broke. Yeah. Um. Do you remember where that was? Yeah, it's out in the hallway. I wonder if I could just go around it or something. That's what I was thinking. Maybe you go out that way and crawl mm. around outside. Maybe. I could give it a shot. Because, yeah. That's ah. a tough window. Man, yeah, no shit. That's extra durable. Someone knew what they were doing when they built that, that's for sure. Okay. Cause yeah, that oh, yeah, window that window's kinda right beside the study, isn't it? Yeah, so maybe head out there and look around a bit. But yeah, it's way over there. How the hell am I gonna jump? Space bar. <laughs> I guess I could like <laughs> suicide it. Suicide Ooh, that jump. That looks pretty far. Yeah, it does, but. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Daniel. Not even close. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way. Tread carefully. Well, I just think it's ridiculous that I can't open that. Yeah, you'd think that throwing a chair at it would be... There's, maybe there's a switch on the wall I didn't see? Well, we picked up an item out here earlier. Maybe I can go around? Yeah, keep going. Ooh. Oh, okay. Keep going, oh, Daniel. Yeah, there's a window to your right there that was open. I wonder, if, I wonder if that's where I'm supposed to go? Yeah. That's probably in here. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't recognize this room. Why are there pigs? I was from gonna the say, I think I would recognize those carcasses. Oh, what's that on the table? Is that another one of those stone thingies that tells me something about something? Seems Sound. a little butthurt. It seems, yeah. But it sounds kind of philosophical, too, in a way. Um, I also hear footsteps. Yeah, or something. Or clicking or something, which I don't like. Um Okay. Just give me a quick minute <laughs> to look around. Hey, there's the rod. Wow, great. There we Game go. Game fucking lied to me, said it was in the study my ass. Okay, so this is for the elevator back down in that room, like the the, the quote unquote safe room. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levels or the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up eight and down eight. Oh, this sounds super complicated. It is a really old elevator, mm. which you have to repair. Okay. Now, I really don't want to go into this room. But I wonder if there's something in there. Because I can just go back around, right? Yeah, but you don't want to miss the good stuff. No. But I do want to miss monsters. It looks like this is where it was caved in on the other side. Maybe there's a chest? Can I open this? Oh, nice. nice. Okay, nice. so that would explain it. This is probably... Oh, there's it. an urn. I'm not going near that. <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole. But yeah, that's like the different... Um, the different study, I guess, maybe? Well, I think this whole area is the study, technically. Okay, I'm Oh, going. look at the tree. You see that tree fall over? Yeah. Even the outside of the castle is super ownery now. It's just like, nah, we don't like you, Daniel. We're gonna get you. You trifling bastard. Okay. Run. To the elevator. To the elevator I go. Oh! Not so uh, safe anymore. 
Oh, that's so shitty. Why are you gonna rain on my parade like that? Oh, jeez. Man. Yeah, spooky. Are you serious, right? Oh. Ooh. Hi. When did you? Who are you, and when did you get here? Oh. <sighs> Jesus, Ooh. Lord Almighty. Oh, indeed. Okay, I think we should that's leave creepy. now. Cause, well. This castle just likes to shit all over my dreams, apparently. <laughs> Everything you love is taken away by this castle. This is why we can't have nice things. It's just... It just doesn't happen. Yeah, I think you gotta fix it first. <sighs> well, how the shit do I do that? <laughs> mm, it's not working. Um, I wonder if it'll tell me where to go if I I think look. there's a door just up and to the right. Maybe. Okay, so that doesn't really help. Um, so to the right? Yeah, oh, over, over there. Okay. That should be the maintenance room. Hmm. Looks. Machine room. Oh. It's locked. Oh, you already have the key. Oh. Do I have the key? You do have a key. Oh, I do. That's right. We got that back when I uh, booked it past that monster. Okay. I don't want to be in here for too long, it doesn't look like. Man, this castle is so fucked. Like, I can't even get to tell you. July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Oh, that's probably not a very good sign, I'd imagine. But he keeps asking for help. Hmm. Well, he needs to figure this shit out. What does this say? Pressure. Pressure. Up eight, down eight is what it's supposed to read. Oh, shit. I don't know Roman numerals. Well, these one, uh, two, th two, so... That's four. IV is four. Yeah. Those are three. Uh, which one's eight? This one? That's five. Okay. So you'll have to add up the top and the bottom to both read, read eight. Oh, I see. Uh, Do you so have a... Is there a candle next to you or anything? Because mm, you're going nuts. I am kind of going nuts, aren't I? A lantern, uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> okay, so uh, I don't and like. Now that's me. one on the bottom. I know. I don't like number puzzles. I can't add, <laughs> especially with Roman numerals. That's some Try. bullshit. You need to help me. You're, you're okay, smart. Okay, yeah. no, I'm looking. I'm thinking. Okay, put uh, put the last two up. That gives you eight on the top. Okay. And then this is put uh, that this one, one down. down. And then this one down. And that should give oh, me eight. No, no, that won't quite work. Okay. Um, put the left one in the back in the middle. Yeah. Okay. And is that a six down below? Mm, yes, I do believe okay, so. Okay, so put one of those twos down. Okay, so this one? Yeah, try that one. And the six down as well. So eight, That's on, eight the on the bottom. bottom. And then four, five. Put this one on top? That's a three. Yep, put that one up. And put the one up. One. No, the other one. Yeah, that one this there. This one up. There, there you go. we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, oh there, there was something yeah. there. You can light those guys. Oh, well, I have a lot of lantern oil, so. No worries. I'm not too concerned at this point. Okay, so the flow is uh, good. Flies just started appearing. That doesn't bode well. I was gonna crouch, but I think I'm all right. And what door is this? Let's take a look. 
Anything in here? Maybe some tinder boxes in this chest, oh. maybe? Yes! Nice. Whoop. Oh, now I'm standing on top of it. That won't work. Okay. Is you that see it? That, uh, see that? Oh! That's where the rods go, it looks Let's like. Light that. And. Ooh, another diary page. Let's read that first. Okay, so. <sighs> there are only two spare rods left. Blah, blah. We already got them. Um. Sort of redundant, isn't it? So, are these all, do they all have shapes? Or is it like... I think they'll, they'll only go into one hole, so... Okay. Bloop. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Uh, I hope so, at least it like blow it up or something. Did mm. that do something? Sounded like it. Hmm. Oh, flow cycle, four phase, and trinity. Okay, so trinity has to go in the middle. Yeah, I figured it had to do something with that, so Trinity, like, triangle. Yeah, and then four phase is a square, obviously. And then the last one. Flow is a circle, yeah. There we Excellent. go. That one wasn't yeah. too bad. Well, I figured that would be a more puzzly type of thing. I was looking at the names oh, and I thought... Oh, turn around. There's a gear sitting on that little table. To your Over right. Over here? Yeah, bring that with you. I think it's just an item. So, okay. right? I don't think it's a... I seem to remember something about needing it. Oh, oh I almost missed this. Page. There we go. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia, he said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest as I write oh, my thoughts that's terrible. to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Hmm. Well, if we do need this, I'll come back for it. But, okay. you know, if there's, like, a monster or something, I want to be able oh. to book it. What? Did you not hear that? I heard something. That's it sound, why. It sounded like a monster. That's why I said, you know, there's generally monsters. Always monsters. Lurking, especially after you solve puzzles. The like game that. likes putting monsters behind doors that you just go into. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But I'm trying to be brave here. The game's getting really interesting. Okay. There's no doors for me to close. Which sucks a little, but there's also a gear there if I need it. Oh, yeah. And what is this? Looks like a furnace. Hmm. Okay. 